We are going to take out the greatest common factor. 6 and 8 can both be divided by 2. Now you have an x squared and an x. So they both have an x. Now, reverse distributive property. What times 2x gives me 6x squared? Okay. Yeah. Wait a minute. Three okay. x. You see that? Six times six is two times three. X squared is x times x. Always mentally do the distributive property in your head to make sure you wrote down the right thing. Now, I've got to get eight x back. Two x times something is eight x. No. Now, okay. She, did, she gave me the wrong answer. Let me show you how you'll know. So you put 4x. Well, that's 8x squared. We got too much. Take away the x. All right? That's the answer. How many think they had that? Excellent. If you can take out the greatest common factor today, you're not going to have any trouble. All right. Number two. <coughs> this is a sum of two common binomials times a monomial. What's the common binomial? X minus three. What's left over? Two X plus three. That's it, you're getting all these right. Okay, now, this is, number three is the same thing, except you're missing a term. The common binomial is x minus 1. But what's left over, Leah? She's not watching. x squared plus what? 1. One. One. <laughs> now, the final term is one of those weird cases where you have the same thing, except one of them's reversed. You have to adjust this to make up for it. So x minus 2 and 6x squared instead of plus 5, it's minus 5. Now let me tell you something about this weirdness. If you have four terms and you put them in the correct order to begin with, this will never happen to you. You won't have to know how to do it. This only happens when you have them out of order. And so I'm going to put everything in order today, so we're never going to see this again. But some of you will someday forget to put them in order, and when you get that, then you'll know what to do. Okay? Let's do it. Whoa. I am, uh, if you're home, you can pause. I am going to have you get out marker boards, but before you get them, no coloring, no notes, to people, nothing except what I ask you to write. And leave the marker closed unless I ask you to do something because they all dry up. Okay? Mm -hmm. Well, let's go row one, two, three, go first. Watch the camera. Yeah, but it's all, on the, I'm doing all the ones on the nose. Don't ask me if it's right then, because it's too small. No, no, gosh, no. Well, we're going to have 30 of them open right now. When they're done, the other rest of you get one.
shoot, I forgot it right. I said shoot. Shit. <laughs> All right. Now, I do want to tell you some rules of things that you didn't see yesterday. This is completely factored and this is correct, but sometimes you might get an answer like that. An answer like this has to be fixed. You cannot have a leading coefficient that's negative. See, this is a binomial where the leading coefficient is 1. This is a binomial where the leading coefficient is negative 3. That has to be fixed to be a positive 3. Can anyone tell me what I could possibly do with it? Um, multiply it all. You can't multiply by anything. You can just change the way it looks. You can't um, multiply. Um, 5 by 6. No, because the x has to be first. That's out of order. But that is an excellent idea if it would be allowed. How about 3x three mi three minus 5? Well, that's not equal to negative 3x plus 5. It has to be equal to it. You put the um, negative outside. Negative 3x minus 5. Right? Yeah. Look, that's negative 3x plus 5. And then x minus 2. You still have the same thing. But now we don't have any leading coefficient that is negative. Now, I, I do want you to know you don't have to put the x minus 2 second. You can write negative, and you can still keep your x minus 2 in the front, and then 3x minus 5 is second. It doesn't matter. It's the same answer. And I'll show you why. Look, negative 2 and 3. That's negative 6. Negative 3, 2. That's negative 6. This does not have to be before that. Just because you pulled it out of here, you don't have to put it first. It doesn't make any difference. Okay? So, that's one thing to remember. Here's another thing to remember. If today you get an answer like this, you have to fix it. 2x minus 2 x minus 5. Do you know what possibly is wrong with this final answer? It has the greatest common factor still. This means in the very beginning, when I gave you a problem, you forgot that there was a greatest common factor. Or you didn't get the biggest one. Okay? What's the greatest common factor here? One. Two. Two. That's the final answer. No binomial should have a common factor at the end. We'll do some, and you'll see what I'm talking about. All right. Let's do it. Now, this, by the way, is factor by grouping. You do it when you have four terms. You do not do it when you have three terms. When you have three terms, it's a completely different factoring. It's also the most popular factoring because you use it the most. Okay, and that will I teach that tomorrow. If you're absent tomorrow, you have got to watch the video or you're going to come in here Thursday with like, what the heck is going on? Okay, all right. Let's take 12x cubed minus 9x squared Minus 15 plus 20. No, 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 right yet. Put your markers away. What should I do first? Find the greatest. No. Put it in order. Put them in order. Oh, yeah. 12x cubed minus 9x squared. I'm going to do one before I make you do one. Plus 20x minus 15. Now, when you have four terms, the very first thing you should say, do I have a greatest common factor of all four? Nope. No. You do not. If you did, you could take it out now or you could take it out at the end, but you have to get rid of it. So we're going to group it into two binomials. And what is the greatest common factor here? 3x squared. It's 3x squared. 
Now, how do I get this back? What's missing? Four. We need a four, and we need another X. What do I need here to get that back? Negative three X. Okay. He said never negative three X. That's wrong. But if you're doing what I asked you to do, you will catch it. Because this is 12x to the third. This is 9x to the third. Too many x's. Okay? Yeah. How is it x squared? You mean the greatest common factor? Yeah. Because you have x cubed and you have x squared. It's what's in common. They both have x squared. This one just has an extra x. That's why we still have one. So that's kind of always x to the fifth. Yes. If you have x to the fifth and x to the eighth, greatest common factor, x to the fifth. Okay? It's always the smaller exponent. All of it. Some kids only want to put x. But they, this has five, this has eight. They both have five. All right. Good questions? All right. Now you get to just write this again. Now, here's how other teachers teach it, and I want you to be aware of it. Other teachers don't have you write that again. Then they tell you to ignore that for a minute, and what is the greatest common factor? Seventeen. No. Oh, five. It's five, right? Yeah, you just write it. Positive five. What do you get? Four x squared minus three. See, you're always going to get the same thing again, so why not just write it to begin with? It's way easier. Now, this is just like number two. We have a common binomial, and what's left over goes in the other blank. That's factoring by grouping. Are we good? I'm yeah. good, man. All right, let me give you one to try, and I'll lead you through it. If you don't pick out the greatest common factor to begin with, it is fixable. <coughs> but it's easier not to, not to do that. I'll go ahead and put them in order, even though on my notes I have them out of order. Okay? Like that. Out of order. 3x cubed minus 50. You know what happens if you have them out of order? You end up with one of these. You don't need one of those. Minus 2x, positive 10. Okay, group them and take out the greatest common factor. Do it. Oh, she might have redone some of these too. Just grade the whole thing. Grade the whole thing. Yeah. So just just pretend like there's nothing there. So whatever she has circled, go with. I don't know if she, I let her redo the front or not. If I did, so yeah. Just said do twelve through sixteen. Oh, okay. So just grade twelve through sixteen. Okay, if you did not take out 3x squared, you didn't take out the greatest common factor. Did anybody take out something different? Because I want to use yours as an example. No? No. All right. That's how you start. Oh, You didn't write this twice. Oh. Wait, Dylan. Dylan, it's the easiest yeah. way to learn it. Nobody teaches it that way, but it's the easiest way to do it. You just make it on it and all like that. See, that's what I thought. Is that right? Well, do you get negative 2x? Positive 10. That's right. It has to be negative. Hang on. Let's just do it. 3x squared times what? X minus 5. X minus 
5. X minus 5 again. No matter what. It's going to be the same thing twice. Now, how can I make my x be a negative 2x? Negative 2. You've got to put a sign here. Don't just write 2. Okay? All right. x minus 5. 3x squared minus 2. Do y'all have that on your end? You guys just factored by grouping. That's, this is easier than last year. A lot easier. Who taught it to you? You. <laughs> we didn't factor last year. Yeah, we did. No, no, that's what I was messing up on. You weren't in second semester. Yes, I was. Yeah. You were? We were. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. passed first semester and then failed second, and then uh, I retake yeah. it again. Yeah. You've passed first semester? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'd do it all over again because you can't um, read. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, that's year, the best way is to do it all over again. No. Last year they changed it to if you huh? uh, don't pass the class, you got to do Oh, yeah. You took long break. She was in here? Yeah, I was. Yes, she was. I was in here both semesters. She passed first semester. Oh, she passed first semester. Gotcha. And if you don't pass one, they tell you to do it all. So you got to do it for two. That's well. What? Honestly, don't you think you would forget everything? No. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Now this one's going to look like number three on your back. So don't get mixed up. It's going to look like number three. At some point, it's going to look like number three. Kids are factoring this day. What? what? I'm factoring. excited you're factoring. It's factoring. It's fun. Fun is factoring. I like to factor. I bet you do. <laughs> I do, too. You do it so much on your too. Like every day. This is so overwhelming. So overwhelming. And then you'd use synthetic division to make sure you're back. Oh, don't, don't bring that in. I don't even know what synthetic that is. Synthetic division is horrible. It is so it's, you know what it's so easy to mess up. No, it's not. That's what's synthetic. <clears throat> long division, it's easy to mess up, but not synthetic. Oh, long division. Oh. Do they do that in algebra too? Long division. Long, long division with a binomial. Oh, so you have to factor that up, then you have to test each factor through synthetic division to make sure it's Oh my god, it's awful. Oh, and then you got to That's right. It's not Yours done. is wrong. Because no. it's, uh, it's still... Oh, you're not done. I'm not done yet. Okay. There's a one involved in the answer. Uh-uh. Is it that? Oh, you didn't pull out the grace comp factor. Good. I want to fix yours. Oh, okay. Did I do it right? Uh -oh. I'm going to show you how it's fixable. It's okay. fixable. <laughs> the greatest common factor is 6x squared. Oh. See, 6 goes into 6. 6 goes into 18. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Listen, if you pulled out a different greatest common factor, it still works. I did 3x squared. You should have left it. It still works. You could have fixed it. All right, x plus what? Three. Now we need a positive one there. Just like number three in the back. So x plus three, 6x squared plus one. Now, for those of you that did not get the greatest common factor, let's do it your way. I'm going to take hers. She pulled out a 2x squared. Let's make sure she did it right. And she got 3x plus 9. Is that right? 6x cubed plus, yes. And then you wrote 3x plus 9 again, right? Yeah. And, and then you there. put plus. I put 3. Plus 3, that's correct. No. No, it's not. That's why I messed up. That's when you should have known. Yeah. Uh-oh. SpaghettiOs. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wait, why'd you get a 9? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right, 9 at 18, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it wasn't one there. Now, I saw somebody pulled out a 3x squared. Anybody do that? Me, 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 me. Okay, let's see what happens. <laughs> if you pull out a 3x squared, x. what did you get? X. 2, no, 2x oh, yeah, two plus 6, 
2x plus 6. You got stuck, didn't you? Grace Compactor. Okay. Oh, yeah. You know I do. You, know, you guys aren't ready for a challenge one, are you? Yes. No. 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 Yes. No. Nah. I just give it to my brainiacs. Me? Yes. You don't got either brainiacs. Yeah. That doesn't You still start the same way. See if you can go from there. Miss Stoner. Come on, you don't even try. You be a brainiac today. <laughs> you could be one, you know. Sit in a math class and not ever do the homework and pass it. I don't even know what it I could never do it. Yeah, I thought it. In any of my math classes. Couldn't. Hmm. I'm trying to try it. Well, that's backwards. Negative x. Now you have to fix that. Oh, yeah, okay. You didn't write the same thing twice. You would have had it fixed right away. But your answer is not real. I would give you partial credit for that. I just put it in three. Okay, I'm okay. stuck on this. Tell me what you do. Did you start with that? Yeah. Did you write it again? No. no. I told you always to write the same thing twice. Because it always works. Just do it. Just do it. It always works. So, yeah, it's backwards. So what? How can I get X, Y? X. And look, it just so happens that works out too. So, final answer. X minus one. I put X plus eight because X should be first, but it's eight plus X, same thing. Anybody? Oh, look at this, look at this. How what? Look, X, Y minus X. Minus x plus x, y. It's the same thing. Well, once you have that, you just write this one and what's left over. Excellent, you guys. You can do that. You can do anything. Anything in factory. All right, ready? It was an earthquake. What? Hey, your hair got stuck. Stop it. I don't like that. Is this our next question? Yeah, factor it. Did you play a French game? You're going to forget something. <laughs> order. <coughs> Is an order. Excuse you. Oh, no, it's not. You guys are awesome. It won't matter. You can do it now or later. You're going to have to do it. It won't matter. I like to get rid of the negative leading coefficient at the end. I do. It makes everything easy. I'm going to do it out of order first to show you that it's fixable. Yes. Hold on, Mr. Donner. Oh, really? Yes. 
but order matters. I'm going to do it out of order. Don't do it yet. Oh. Right. <laughs> I don't know where all your pencils are. Isn't it unreal? Oh, I lose five days. Yeah. It's okay. You can have my pencil. No, I don't need it. Let's try again. Miss Dorn. You've got some in your door down here. I just didn't want to. Like, I did it. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. You're not done? No, I'm done. Okay. I always forget. I think that's just. Uh, Isn't that the same thing? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
And I would put a bracket and then just work inside the bracket so you don't forget. Oh. Wait, what? Would be a 2x though? You can do it without that. It'll still work at the end. Oh. The reason you want to take out greatest common factor in the beginning is because sometimes you might have really big numbers, like 81, oh. 90, Ooh. but they're all divisible by 9, and everything becomes easier. Okay, do it either way. It won't matter. Wait, what are you saying? Actually, it's easier for them to take it out at the end. Because they forget about that darn two. Darn so I'd make them re-rank the two before they write anything else. So what if you're saying? Is just on the answer blank. I just go make sure you put it all the way down. I don't care how you do it. You can either take out the two now, or at the end, you'll see that you'll have to take out a two. Miss Sony. So, so are you done? Yeah, what do you do after you do this? Yeah. What do you do after you do this? You have four, you have four yeah. terms. Now you group. Now you group it. But make a bracket. Oh, okay. All right. I see. Now you group it. So after you take the two out, just do ignore the two and do what you've been doing. Uh, but then how that's stupid, Miss Oh. Uh, I'm doing it my way. What? The only way. What do you do now? Did take out the greatest common factor of the first two terms. So then do you ignore the two? You bring it. You just keep bringing it down till the end. Okay. Just rewrite it. Just rewrite two on the bottom and ignore it. The problem is if you don't take it out now and remember it, you're going to have no two at the end. You have to keep your two on. I'll do it both ways. Just hang in there. You're confused. Okay. Ignore the two. Do it your way. It'll work. I see a two right here. Just do it. You'll see. You'll see. It doesn't matter. See, you'll, you'll have one more step now. And that's to take the two out of there. What the heck? See how it has a common factor? I get it. Yeah. It goes in the beginning, by the way. You always put the number by itself in the beginning. You got a two. That doesn't disappear. You have a common factor right here. You have a common factor? You have a common oh, factor, three. right? No, you took out the two in the beginning. Well, where'd it go? Yes. Put it back. Well, where would you? In the front. There. Boom. Done. So, so. That's what you had to do? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, I'm going to do it both ways, but I'm going to give you 30 more seconds to finish. Give me two yeah. minutes. Give me two minutes. What do I want to Okay, now. Two is carried down. Where's your two? That's what I say. Okay, let me do it. No, don't do it yet. I'm going to rewrite it because it's too big. I know what it is. Okay, then I'm good. Right? Which way you want me to do it first? Taking out the two or leaving it? Leaving it. Taking it out. I'm going to take it out first because that's what I would do when I'm, make, when I'm doing these. Look, is this right? Would you pay attention, please? You're not done. Did you take it? All right. Let's take it out. That's 3x to the fourth minus 2x cubed plus 6x minus 4. Okay? Now, I'm still going to have a 2 there, and I'm ignoring that 2. Now I'm grouping. Greatest common factor here, 2x cubed. Um, what's wrong? 3x times 3, no. Oh, 2 is not the greatest common factor. I just told you that. It's x, x cubed. Yeah. Times 3x minus 2. 3x minus 2. How does that become a 6? 2. Plus 2. Okay. Is it what? What's the matter? It's sucking wet in that corner right there. I have a leak? It's because there's a leak in the rooms upstairs and it started leaking while we were in bio class. Yeah, that's gross. Somebody, Somebody needs to report that. that. We did. Okay. Okay, look. 3x minus 2. 
x cubed plus 2. Final answer, remove the bracket. That's two. the final answer. Oh. Oh. Now, let's pretend you forgot to take the 2 out because more than half of you will forget every time. You will. Okay, so let's just group it right away. All right, so what's the greatest common factor here? 2x cubed, right? Yeah. And that's 2x. No. no. Three. Oh, I'm not right, very right. good with numbers. 3x uh, minus hey, Bella, it's 2. Hey, I'm in now in Stoner's room. 3x minus 2. There must be a four. Plus 4. 3x okay. minus 2. 2x cubed okay. plus 4, and that's okay. where you probably stop. Okay. And every single time, and I'll try to remind okay. you, okay. Af as you put down your answer, if there is a common factor, you have to fix it. So that's 3x minus 2, and that's 2 times 2x, no, 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 no. x cubed plus 2, and then the 2 goes back in the beginning. Uh, somebody's Final answer is the same. You either pull out the two here, or you get it out in the beginning. It doesn't matter, but it has to come out. Get it? Got it. You guys can factor. Ooh, 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 ooh. You guys can factor. Oh my god. I'm excited to get back. We go to Starbucks. Can we go to Starbucks? <laughs> I never had a Starbucks. Me being in Fisher. Tomorrow you're going to have a check for understanding like that. That's it. Factor out the greatest common factor. I can do it right now. Do it. Look. On your board. On your board. Exactly. You want me to pass out? I don't want the greatest common factor. I want you to factor it out. Factor. <laughs> Uh, did I? Did you guys get the um, factors of everything under 100 yesterday? No. Okay, yeah, no. that's going to help you tomorrow. I'm going to give it to you. Keep it in your uh, binder. All the factors of every number that's uh, 100 or less. I like that too. What's the greatest common factor? Four. 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 What do you get? Two. Two. Four. 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 That's tomorrow's. Check for understanding. Thank you. That. Not that one, but oh, just like it. And that's how you read it? Yeah, you're done. You factored. Wonderful. Easiest factoring in the world is just take out the price so down. What? It is fun. Yeah. I love it. Turn that uh, video off. Next time on.